I heard that erectile dysfunction could decrease penis size. Could you please tell us about that? Penis is a very interesting organ because uh, I think, think about the size varies a lot. There's a no organ like that in our body. Actually, that's the reason why the augmentation surgery of the penis is very difficult and the result is not that satisfied with the patients because our technology is not yet there to meet the changes of the change size varies like that. But anyhow, maybe it is related to that kind of perspectives, but a penis size decreases whenever it gets an injury, like a trauma or a peyronie disease, other type of the all kind of injuries can shrink the size of the penis. So erectile dysfunction is also a form of injury which is, comes from the vessels. So it's a vascular injury happens to the penis. Blood flow decreases and then uh, you know, uh, kind of hypoxic damage is done to the penis, so their size can decrease. A good example could be a prostate cancer. Uh, when they have a prostate cancer, they need a prostate cancer, radi radical prostatectomy can be done to cut the prostate out. 15 to 30 percent of the patient can suffer, may suffer from the uh, erectile dysfunction after the surgery. Mm -hmm. So their blood flow was suddenly decreased, right, to the penis. So in a year, about an inch of the size will shrink. An inch for height, maybe not a big deal, but an inch for down there is a huge thing. So patients suffer from that, they cannot notice their changes a lot. So the other example could be a comparable example could be a diabetic patient who has a urethral dysfunction. So diabetic patients tend to have a you know, long-term uh, damage, uh, very slowly, physical injuries are done to the penis. So their size shrinks, uh, on the long, uh, very slowly, but definitely, but very slowly. So it's very comparable, I mean, uh, examples, I'll say. So yeah, whatever injury the penis has, the size can decrease. But just a question, why is penis size so important for men? I would say, why is the breast size so important for women? Mm -hmm. So when it comes to genitalia, it's not just about the function. A woman's breast is not for just the breast feeding the baby, right? It's also one of the genital organs. Genital organs almost always has a very deeply related our own self-esteem, our own self-image. That's why uh, if, let's say, woman has a three nipples, will they be you know, treated for that or not? They will definitely get a treatment yeah. because it's a genital organ. You have a mole in here, you don't get a treatment almost all the time. Mm -hmm. But if you have a mole or something similar in your around nipple, yeah. you will almost always get a treatment. Why? Because it's your genital genitalia. So genital organ has always related with, deeply related with our self-image. And for men, our penal size also deeply related with their own manhood as well. Mm -hmm. So what I stress is that I'm not saying they need a huge, I mean, this size of penis, no. But at least it is a decent way to respect them by giving them, restore them what they had before. I'm not saying that we have to, you know, grow it, but they need to get it at least what they had before. Just like a breast cancer surgery. So when women had a breast cancer and then they had a radical mastectomy cutting their breast, all the breast tissues out, they need a breast reconstruction. But when getting a reconstruction, wouldn't they want the same size of the, what they had before? rather than smaller or bigger than that. So they want the same size. They want to restore what they had. It's the same concept. I'd heard that the inflatable implant actually decreases the length after surgery. Is that still the case? I mean, that's how I was trained. Uh, when I was getting the training in the US, I traveled around uh, meeting not just one surgeon, but the, one of the biggest implanters in the US. So I traveled two thirds of the US to see the so-called king of the state, king of the south, king of the north, you know, king of the midwest or something like that. And all of them taught me, all of them was consultating the patient that they will have a decreased size, decreased size after the surgery. Mm -hmm. So I thought that, yeah, it's a textbook way. You can say that your penis will shrink after the surgery. After I came back to the Korea and started my own practice, I finally understood there's something missing. This surgery, why do the patient getting this surgery? They are not just getting it for the function. They are not just getting it for the sex. They were trying to restore their manhood. In terms of that, penile size, this also should be accounted when doing the surgery. So I had to find a way how to restore the size 
And thanks to Dr. Wolf and uh, Robert Valenzuela in New York, they taught me uh, the subcoronal approach. After I converted to the subcoronal approach and applying the other methods I learned before uh, elsewhere around the world, I was able to restore the size after the surgery. Now I tell my patients I have about 700 cases with me, which shows that their size can restore after surgery. So I can safely say that penile inflatable penile prosthesis surgery can restore their lower size. I don't know whether it's a complete or not because I can tell. I can't see the patient 10 years ago, right? But still, what the patient told, told me was that they restored the size after six months to two years. So can size be restored with erectile dysfunction surgery? Yes, it can. So uh, uh, maybe there may be a, a change of the degrees, like a, maybe not 100% or 80%, I don't know, or 110%, we do not know, because we surgeons can never see the patient in ahead of the disease. So I do not know their full size, right? But still, what we can achieve is that we can restore as much as you can. There's only one way we can achieve it, uh, is uh, currently in my eyes, the safe way is uh, with the inflatable penile prosthesis surgery.